How are you doing? It's Martin from Gardens for Life. Today I'm going to show you how to plant uh, potatoes into containers and um, I'll show you some um, ways of getting them started quicker as well. Even if you are going to plant them out into your garden, uh, there's different ways to actually get them started quicker, like chitting them of course. So why would you want to grow potatoes in containers when you can just plant them straight out into the garden instead? Well, um, some of us actually don't have any um, garden space, so if you were living in a housing estate or in the city somewhere, like an apartment with a sunny balcony, you can easily grow your own potatoes in containers. And the yields are actually quite good. You can get several kilos from a 10 litre or 12 litre uh, container grown potato plant. And um, I think it's well worth doing and you can keep the varieties very easily apart with, uh, by just putting a label in each of the buckets or into uh, one of them and group the buckets together. That's what we do anyway, so that you only need one label for, per, per group of actual potatoes. So after your potato has uh, matured and um, has uh, died back fully at the end of the growing cycle, which is usually about 90 days, I think, um, you can give the container to a friend or to a, a family member and let them actually harvest it. So that's one of the advantages. You could um, give people a nice surprise like that let them harvest their own potatoes. It's really easy to do. You just turn the bucket upside down and let them go looking for them. It's awesome for kids as well. Get them used to um, actually harvesting things from the garden as well. So you can use a 10 litre container like this one here to grow them in. I think you're going to get a good yield. I would suggest using at least a 10 litre container, maybe even bigger, like this uh, bucket, which is about uh, 14 litres. And make sure you drill a hole, a one inch hole in the bottom for drainage. That's really important uh, if you don't want to end up with stagnant water. These are some of the potatoes that we've been uh, chitting. Just ordinary organic potatoes from the shop. You can use any potatoes at all. They don't even have to be organic. And you can see these ones have already started to chit or sprout or germinate. Or, well, not germinate. I would call it um, to actually start, start growing, basically. You can see that one is a different color. And um, Here's one that we started with our special method, which we have another video about if you want to have a look at it. Uh, basically, just type into our channel, Chitting Potatoes, and uh, you'll see how to do this. Um, it's basically just a matter of putting them in a tray with some compost and uh, putting them in the greenhouse, covering them with a, a black tray so that uh, they'll get started. I think this is going to take off so much quicker than a typical chitted potato that people would normally plant as it is. Alternatively, you can actually chit your potatoes in the greenhouse. What it means is to basically sprout them beforehand, um, before planting them out into your containers or into um, the garden. And it'll actually speed them up and it'll kind of, if you're able to keep them in a more frost-free environment. Um, you can see here, this is a method that we've actually come up with ourselves. Um, we put the potatoes into a tray with some potting soil and um, basically cover it um, with a, a black tray and um, you can see they've rooted really well so I'll just show you here we watered them just once the first time this took, took about 10 days to chit them that well and they've actually grown roots already so as you can see here they're doing really well so I think they're going to take off so much quicker than the likes of that, you know, where it's just only starting to grow. Well, we'll try and pry these apart very gently. You don't want to be breaking too many of the roots. There you go. There's one. So we'll just plant that as it is into our containers or out into the growing space in the garden. And there's no point in cutting potatoes in half. Um, just just plant them as they are and they'll grow into a bigger plant with more yield. So you're better off that way. So we've got our 10 containers here and some mushroom compost. Uh, so this is just straight mushroom compost that's a few weeks old. I think it'll do fine. It's actually well broken down already. And uh, it's nice and fluffy, so it'll give the potatoes good drainage and plenty of nutrients.
We should plant them fairly deep, but not too deep either. I'd say just about two thirds of the way up in the bucket. So you can see here, it's one of the chitted potatoes. And we'll just place it here. Kind of, don't push it down too much, just a little bit. But actually you can put a big one into a, a big container. Now, well, that's all of those ones. And just for reference, we're going to plant one of these here too, in the same batch, just to see what happens, because this has not been chitted with our greenhouse chitting method. So um, we're going to plant that into the 10 litre container and another one. A different variety into another container and we have one more here okay that's it now we're going to cover the containers in compost and it really is as simple as that anyone can do it all you need is a little bit of space somewhere fairly well lit by the sun and uh, some containers Plenty of compost. And some potatoes that have actually chitted. You can get them anywhere in any supermarket. You don't have to buy seed potatoes necessarily. And we've never had a, pro a blight problem. And we've seen people, including neighbors, that have um, had blight problems before in years, uh, in the years past. and. Uh, they were asking us, how did you manage not to get blight? Our plants were healthy while everyone else's had blight. And um, actually, uh, they asked us, what did we spray them with? And I said, we sprayed them with absolutely nothing. And that's our secret. It's just healthy soil and um, the plants are healthy too. Uh, once you have some minerals in the soil, it would help. And also uh, some, um, of course, mycelia or fungi that will um, create a symbiotic relationship with uh, your plants including potatoes as well and um, they're going to help extend the root systems of your plants as well and uh, will gather water and minerals for your plants uh, in return for sugars from the photosynthesis of your that your plants are producing so it's um, called symbiosis and um, it's mostly underrated um, because when you dig up the ground, uh, you actually break up all of the um, strands of the mycelium, and it's not good for it. You know, I don't. I wouldn't um, go um, digging the ground up again. I'm definitely going no dig all the time now. There's a lot less work, and it's so much more productive, and it's much healthier for the soil life as well. So there you are now. That's all the containers filled, and um, I'm going to place them somewhere now in a sunny spot in the nursery. And we'll see how it goes. Here's a quick tip on how to uh, pot your potatoes uh, with uh, mulch. You can actually cover them with uh, wood chips, like these ones here. Um, basically leave an inch or so of space on the top, maybe three or four centimeters even, inch and a half, and fill up the top with uh, wood chips. So um, as you can see here, that we have all of our red currants are actually mulched so that actually conserves water in the summer but also stops the weeds from growing so um, mulching is always a good idea we have another video on potting plants so you can um, take a look at that if you want uh, we'll come back to you with another video of the harvest of these very containers uh, in probably about three months time i'd say thanks for watching and all the best bye bye